Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is a fall off video of Alpha Droid ROM for Redmi Note 8, and I did review this ROM very, very long time ago. So, let's check out how Alpha Droid ROM is doing. So, first of all, let's unlock and check what we are getting with this ROM. So, go into setting and about phone. So, as you can see here, this device is running on Android 14 and Alpha Droid 2.3. So if I go more information, as you can see here, Android 14 and the security patch level is 5th of July 2024 and this is the official build for this device. This is a GApps build, you can download vanilla or GApps, whatever you like. Going back, the setting UI is a little different than usual iOS based ROM and you can change the setting layout directly from alphabet. You can go here, user interface and setting style and you can change it to anything like I really like the dot one actually so if I put dot and go back maybe to the setting it will change the UI actually so now it changed maybe let's check AOSP and still maybe we have to close and reopen so as you can see here the setting ui is changed going with the network and other things so mobile network wi-fi hotspot all those things working flawlessly no issue location is working connected device bluetooth and everything is working and the display setting as you can see here we do have adaptive brightness does work dark mode is there night light is there color also there and double tap to air work does work and double tap to sleep also work so these things are working perfectly fine no issue and the wallpaper and style setting so as you can see here wallpaper and style let's check again maybe there is some issue going on so change wallpaper and we do have only few wallpapers here as you can see here but no AI wallpaper option going back the sound and vibration everything works perfectly fine and in the security and privacy setting we do have face unlock and fingerprint unlock fingerprint unlock works flawlessly no issue with that so as you can see it's very fast face unlock is also there but the issue with the face unlock is it's pretty slow so let me show you double tap as you can see how long it's taking it took almost three to four seconds to unlock even though this is well light area like my face is fully exposed still it did not able to unlock it quickly maybe the battery the battery backup is pretty good on this room actually and we do have few features like charging control option you can control the limit and schedule the charging we don't have any kind of control over amperage or slow or fast charging that feature is not included in this room rather than that everything is pretty much same if you go to system we do have show me parts option if you want to change the display setting you can do that from here going back there is nothing else actually as i said this was a gfs build so we do get few gfs here like gmail google maps and other things so in terms of application this application are working perfectly fine no issue with that everything seems to be working fine and if you use bank apps on custom rom you cannot use on this rom actually because safety net is not passed on this rom because of that you cannot use any kind of bank application so going to the play store and check the certification setting and as you can see here it is play protect certification is there so it is certified but still the bank apps will not work here because safety net is failed rather than that it did not come with any kind of mi ui camera so it did come with a snapdragon camera and it does work actually so as you can see here it does work and I did install a Gcam here, which is also working flawlessly, no issue with that. No issue. So camera is working flawlessly, no issue. So if you use Google Photos and unlimited storage, so unlimited storage is available. So you can upload your all the files without any kind of issue. As you can see, this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge. So that also available. Now come to the gaming. Although we have game space and other things, but gaming is so so bad on this ROM that you cannot really play anything here. So if you play Call of Duty, PUBG or Free Fire, anything like that, you can't really play games on this ROM. And the ROM is pretty sluggish too. Sometimes the ROM 
does not even work it frees and it stay there for few minutes then you can do something so this room is pretty much unusable it's not really a good rom i don't really know why this happened alpha droid rom used to be really good but now it's pretty much bad still if anyone wants to try this rom the rom link will be in the description below and that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one Thank you.